The Prophet says, alayhi salatu wasalam, whoever does not give up false speech and acting upon it and offensive speech and behavior, whoever does not give up these things, Allah has no need of his giving up his food and drink. Which means that we misunderstood the meaning of fasting Ramadan. The majority of Muslims only refrain from eating and drinking. And they think that this is fasting of Ramadan. No, it is far, far more than that. And this is why if you fast Ramadan and you lie, if you fast Ramadan and you say obscene things and you do things that Allah is not pleased with, then you have missed the whole point. The Prophet says, alayhi salatu wasalam, Allah the Almighty has no need of his giving up food and drink. What is it? So many people fast and they do not get any reward for that. But the majority of us with the grace of Allah, the majority of Muslims who fast with honor, who let the guest in and giving him all the hospitality they can, they are the true believers and they are the true Muslims. They are the ones who calculate and count the days and the hours and the minutes in anticipation, in preparation for this guest who is soon to come with the grace of Allah. They are happy and jubilant because they know that a great season of getting closer to Allah is soon to approach us. So they're happy of this month coming in. But why the month of Ramadan is so special? What is so special about it? It's very simple. It is the month of mercy. It is the month of forgiveness. It is the month that Allah Azza wa Jal blessed it so that it would have and contain the greatest night of the, the whole year. It is Laylatul Qadr. Imagine one night in this month is better than a thousand months. And the majority of us don't even dream to live for a thousand months. How many years is that? 80 plus? 80 plus years. And the age, the average age of the followers of Prophet Muhammad is between 60 and 70. And seldom who would pass that. And why is that? Scholars say that Allah Azza wa Jal blessed the followers of Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. Because the previous nations, they used to live so many years and they would offer so many good deeds. Nuh, peace be upon him, stayed in his people calling them to Islam for 950 years. And that is why Allah Azza wa Jal is granting the followers of Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam this precious gift. One night, you worship Allah properly in it, it's better for your record than a thousand months. And you don't want us to welcome this honorable guest? Not only that, it is the month in the year that Allah Azza wa Jal revealed the Quran to the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. And that is why it's known as the month of the Quran, Shahr al-Quran. And the Quran by far is the final word, the final revelation that is of Allah Azza wa Jal. And it is the miracle given to our Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam to the end of time. This miracle that we put it and keep it behind our backs. We do not study it. We do not recite it. We do not memorize it. We only keep it in our glove compartments. We keep it under the pillow. We keep it in our houses as a ta'weedah, as a form of protection. And nothing protects you except Allah Azza wa Jal. And this 
goes against the reason that Allah revealed the Quran. It was revealed to be recited, to be memorized, to be honored and not to be put on the wall or in your glove compartment. 